Hey guys, back again. It is full-fledged allergy season here in New England, so we have a nice cloud of dust or pollen just floating around. We got some rain last night, so you can see there's a nice disgusting buildup here. But hey, check out this fender. Once it was all sanded down, it looks pretty good. Um, obviously, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. This is this is not we're we're not going to be just painting over this. This is just to protect the integrity of the metal so that it doesn't continue to, you know, do this kind of stuff. Um, so, since last time, um, pulled out some of this really nice uh, uh, body work. You know, this is um, good stuff, but uh, you know, we we need to we need to do a little bit better um, on this go around. So, um, let's see, is this off the ground? think that this is off the ground anymore um so today I think that we're gonna try and swap out this front axle we've got a 10 no eight lug setup on the front end and on the back end um, but I think we want to change this over to a six um, we're also looking to put in a disc brake conversion kit and um, I'm not sure that they have them for the eight lug setup, so we're just gonna be changing over to a six lug. Um, so we've got our front end jacked up. That side's definitely off the ground. I think that side might be off as well. So we're gonna be pulling the, uh, the wheels off. Probably get that done first. And I'm gonna keep working on this fender. Hopefully get to the door there. I don't know if you can see all this pollen. This is disgusting. This is this is apocalyptic. I hate this so much. Oh my god, I can't stand this. I'm wearing a mask and goggles right now, so it might look ridiculous, but at least I'm not gonna. No, I'll still I'll still feel like garbage, but so yeah. So uh, go ahead and pull this uh, couple front ends off and get going. Just to give you guys a, an idea about this pollen right now. I've been here, I don't know, 20 minutes. Look at this. It's disgusting, I hate this. This is why I don't go outside. But uh, just to uh, you know, give you guys an idea of what we're working with, we are low tech. Straight razor blades. Just using this, taking off. Heavy stuff. I know some of you, probably most of you are just sitting here cringing. Watching this, this patina. You guys love the patina. Just going away. So we've also been finding a lot of a lot of this. Now you'll notice there's a bit of a difference here. This is solid metal. What is this? I'm gonna go to scrape this off. I'll show you. It turns into this kind of stuff. Now, some of you may know what this is. Some of you may not. Here's another one here. We had some more up here. It's all down here. Um, this is uh, as lead. Back in the day, and I could be wrong, but this is how I understand it. Pre-Bondo, you know, you get a nice big, oh, I don't know, you know, somebody hits this with a hammer. Instead of filling it with Bondo and sanding it down, you fill it with lead, sand it down. Lead's nice and soft, it sands, 
keeps form pretty nicely. This has been here for, I don't know how long, but look, it's held up pretty nicely. I mean, you can't even tell uh, unless you, know, you go to like scrape it and then you're like, oh, it's wet. So we've got some other, uh, some other goodies here to help us along, which I'll show you in a little bit. But really I'm trying to avoid sanding down the lead. Because if you know lead, you don't want to be inhaling lead. Um, lead fill all the same. You know, you, you really don't want that in your lungs. You don't want any of this. You don't want this old rusty paint in your lungs. Um, none of it's good for you. So I'm wearing a mask right now. I have a respirator, which I'll be wearing once I start hitting this with the sander. You know, maybe I can do a time lapse or something to help show you guys, you know, the process i guess but yeah so lead fill lead fill i'm sure there is tons of lead fill um in many different fun places on this truck so you know it's just just another part of it so figure it out <laughs> like there's the maybe like a beige there's a yellow there's a uh, red I don't even know I'm also colorblind so don't take my word for any of these
so that was uh, one full size Makita battery and two of the little minis to get that. So this is pretty cool here actually. I think this is where this is welded to this piece here. I don't know, or it could just be a nice coincidental line, but um, so yeah, you can see that this just rips up. I mean, look at that compared to that. That is clean. And I just, you know, I, I really got to just remark on how clean this truck is for being as old as it is. I mean, I, I know it was in Missouri for a large portion of its life, but I mean, like, look at that. It's clean. Really not a lot of rot. And I'm curious about all these lead fills. So, you know, we had noted this one when we started and I said, oh, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, sand it down. But of course, you know, I'm, I'm stupid. So I just was like, oh, well, um, but there was also this one down here that I didn't even realize was there just cause it was kind of hidden under, you know, all, the, all of this kind of junk. Um, but just look at that. I mean, you can see the reflection of the, the tarps in there. It's, 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 it's pretty beautiful. Um, not, not much rot at all on these fenders. I mean, these fenders are, are pristine. Um, yeah, you know, like I said, um, I think the first time that we had talked about me stripping down all this is that the more that we do stripping off the paint, the more we're going to find, you know, this is a pretty good gouge. Um, do I, do I really care though? No, not really. I mean, I'm sure I can heat up and bang out some of these. I mean, and this is, I, I think that's going to have to get filled. This, mm, I mean, really it's, it's all there. It is straight. It is, you know, not rotten out as much as it could be. I mean, it just looks good. I'm really excited to get a, a primer on, on this panel. Of course, you know, my battery's died right at the very end, so I'm gonna have to see if Brad's got um, something I can use. But I think that this is gonna clean up pretty nicely. I mean, just look at that. Not bad, not bad. Um, I know I had mentioned that we're going to be swapping out the front axle, um, but I think somebody forgot to loosen up the lug nuts before it got off the ground, and I'm not able to get in there. The other side might be a different story, because it's sitting in the mud, but... see what happens there but 